Hey guys, uh, my name is Steve. I'm a real estate broker in Las Vegas and you are watching The Broker Life. Uh, I am going to run through an awesome corner unit. It's a currently a one bedroom, two bath uh, floor plan, which was converted to a one bedroom from being a two bedroom. Originally, these are two bedroom, two bath corner K floor plans in the Martin. And this is gonna be an, well, another, they call it K floor plan, but then also the numbering system call it an 01 floor plan. So I want to take you in a uh, take you on a quick tour of this one. Again, we're in the Martin and this is going to be a one bedroom, two bath unit corner and it has a two bedroom or 217 square foot balcony in it. So let's go take a look through it. So I'm just walking into the K floor plan, also known as the 01 floor plan in the Martin Las Vegas. And this was originally set up, that's the front door right there. This was originally set up to be a two bedroom, two bath condo. Uh, this was customized to be a one bedroom, two bath unit. Uh, we got the master right on over here. We'll take a look into that, but I really wanna get into this living room. Second bathroom right to the left over here with the shower. And here we go right into the living room. The Living area is pretty good with this one. You have a very large center island right here. I'm standing in the kitchen right now, and this Martin condo is in the corner of the building. As you can see right here, this uh, these windows go all the way to here. This blind is currently not working, but it, if you open it up, you start seeing even more of the strip. It's a fantastic view. And right now we're on the 36th floor. So this is unit 3601 in the Martin. And with that 01, it really signifies this stack of the building. If you go all the way up to the top and or all the way down to the bottom, it's going to be the exact same unit and floor plan. The only difference is this unit was converted into a one bedroom. And what that does is right here, there was a wall right here. And that area where you see where that Murphy bed is, or what it looks like a built in on the wall, that was, that's, uh, that was the bedroom. So you would have a sliding door here, a sliding door on this side, and then a wall in the middle. And that would be the two bedroom version of this floor plan. So many people loved having the big one bedroom version of this that they just took this wall out straight from the developer when they purchased it. So this is technically a one bedroom, two bath. And now you can see the view is fantastic. You got the South Strip going all the way down to Mandalay Bay. Uh, panorama right next door and then the aria and of course right here that's the arena the t-mobile arena where the golden knights play and right below us is the i-15 freeway so you are a hop skip and a jump from city center and the middle of las vegas boulevard so here we go going through here a uh, big center island with this floor plan the martin's pretty good with these center islands they they know that people like large eating areas and they don't want to be uh, uh, confined to having an, a separate dining room table because they don't have a usable space. Uh, this stainless steel fridge that you have in here doesn't look like they got too much in there on this one. A lot of these units are second or third homes. So you don't be surprised if you don't see stuff in the closets or in the fridge areas. But this is a nice stainless steel vent with the glass top, which is kind of neat. That gives it some texture. Um, here we go, going into the Electrolux Icon series uh, stovetop. Now this is a gas, or this is an electric uh, oven, or electric uh, stove here. Um, the Martin does not have gas, it is all electric. For the most part, a lot of these towers are electric. So there's only a few that have gas, and it's always uh, a benefit for those who really like to cook. But let's be honest here, we're in Las Vegas with the best food and restaurants in the world. Who's cooking at home? <laughs> uh, these cabinets are really nice. I like the space saving aspect that they have of it. You have double systems here. And look at, you even have an eight inch area here that they went ahead and put in cabinets as well. Now these are standard from the developer, but these are just well done. I mean, they could have just very well just put nothing here. But I really like that they did two levels on both of these of uh, actual usable drawers. Uh, going over to this side, we have our dishwasher, Electrolux Icon series again as well. So you got the stainless in the inside there. Pretty good appliances. And 
here is our cabinetry, all soft clothes, of course. It was very nice. Um, going over here, we have the dual sink. Uh, I, what I like too is that they did uh, stainless steel. Uh, I mean, we, of course, we got these horrible bags here, but stainless steel uh, pipes, you know, really looks good. Uh, added benefit there instead of just the black pipes that you usually get with homes. Uh, this unit has electronic blinds which is something that a lot of these owners will go to, but it's not cheap. You could spend $10,000 on blinds pretty easily. Uh, now, if we're going to the wall here, you, all you have to do is click, let's say, close. And so it will close all of these blinds and then click open again, and it will open right up. Uh, one thing you need to keep in mind with these systems, see this is for this blind here, this panel I don't have open because the battery is dead in here. This is not a hardwired situation. They just cut a hole in the wall, put it in, and you have to change the batteries ever so often so it doesn't, uh, doesn't die on you. Now, one, this is the bedroom that I'm standing in. This would be technically the second bedroom. Right now, it's just a bigger living room. Uh, and this area would be your closet for your second bedroom, if that's what you were using it for. And if you didn't have this open area here, if you had the wall here still in place, that would be your closet. Now let's head on over into the master bedroom. Oh, yeah, I wanna hit this one more time. Uh, this is the standard fixtures and uh, uh, setups that you would get in any unit at the Martin. If they are different in any unit that you see, it's because they've been customized by the owner. And then, oh, here we go. Stackable washer and dryer. Again, these are the appliances that came from the developer. There we go and walking right into the master. This master bedroom here, this is a queen. I mean, you can fit a queen, no problem in here. It can get a little bit tight, but a king would be really tight. I mean, you could do it if you really are a must have king bed person, you know, then the Martin can accommodate you, but usually it's a queen bed, you know, that's what you get. It uh, looks like this one has, oh, this one has the, on the wall in here too, electronic blinds. So you got your electronic blinds and these are blackout. The way that you can tell that these are blackout is because they have the track. This track doesn't let the light seep through on the sides. So that's kind of fun. Uh, going into the master bath here, uh, we have, it looks like they have an extra cabinet. Usually that's not there, of course. Someone owns this unit and they've customized it. Uh, this double vanity that is standard from the developer, and this would be how it came. Uh, I've seen clients who really like this look of this wood, but they also want the usability of having extra cabinets down below. So they've had custom cabinetry made to get extra storage down below. Again, look at that, chrome pipes. Ooh, that looks a little dirty, but chrome pipes down below, I love it. Instead of the, just the plain plastic, you know? Uh, here's your shower in this one. So this is two bedroom, two bath over at the Martin again. And if you're getting use out of this video, go ahead and smash that like button. I would really appreciate it. <laughs> and then subscribe because I'm going to be going through a lot more towers like this. Um, now, if we are going through here, we, I mean, you will notice that there was a shower in that bathroom and a shower in the other bathroom over here, but you don't have a tub. Yep. So in this floor plan, this one bedroom floor but floor plan, you do not have a tub. Um, now this is the K floor plan. If we go to the other side, which I'll show you here in a little bit, or I think I have another video on it, but you look for the J floor plan or the OO floor plan. If you want a one bedroom in the Martin, that one will have a tub and a shower. So that's kind of neat. But just want to run you through this one real quick. Again, if you found value in this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe and like button. Uh, let's take you out to that balcony real quick so you can see what I'm talking about with this 217 square foot patio. This is just huge. Then you get the mountains. I mean, this view is what you want when you're in a high rise. And again, looking over here, we have the panorama and then going all the way to the Aria into city center park MGM. You get the airport, you can even watch airplanes take off. Um, right down below is Harmon. So this is the Harmon Road and it goes right over here. You pop right up over by the Rio area and um, uh, 
uh, the Palms place. And also, if you can take that road and go straight on, look at you're right over the pool too. Isn't that neat? You got the pool right there. But uh, you can take that road and you can walk right from your backyard from that pool area right into the middle of city center. So only 517, 500 and change steps away from the middle of Las Vegas Boulevard. Gotta love it. But hope you enjoyed it. There's a cave floor plan over at the Martin. Again, my name's Steve. I'm a broker here in Las Vegas. So if you have any real estate questions, I sell high rise condos, I sell homes. I've done everything. If you have questions, leave comments down below. I can definitely get back to you or contact me directly. All my information is down below. And I'll put the stats on this unit too in the, in the description. Have a good one, guys. Talk to you.